Hey Roamers, today we're upgrading the electrical system in our 2006 Alpha Sia. With the help of the RV Mobile Tech Aaron Jones, we're installing Victron inverter chargers and Lion Energy lithium batteries on this episode of Roaming with Rosie. Okay. And that's the diagram that I sent. And there's your current house batteries. Right. And there's your catastrophic fuse. So that's feeding that's feeding your house with DC like out of that fuse. So you come out of your batteries and go through this. And yeah, there's your chassis ground right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Automatic transfer switch right here. Yeah, I just we just have to figure out where it's at. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So if you install everything in that bay the way you want it, then we can wire it from there. We're going to have to run a wire down underneath the coach and back up to that pathfinder. Okay. Up underneath because it's we might as well just let it live where it's at. Okay. First of all, we got to figure out if the whole coach is inverted now. If it's not, then we have to run a wire from your main breaker panel to the new inverter. Wherever okay. the main, where's the main breaker panel? They uh, might even have it labeled like the main breaker panel is right underneath. The, uh, Wow, this thing is roomy. Oh, good. Main panel, inverter panel. I had to pull the panels off and see what they tied into what, but that doesn't stop you from going ahead and installing your stuff because okay. your bay's right there and where breaker panels are here. So we can go down and psh, So we we'll eliminate need, all that mess in we the only need, We only need to go wire from here then? Yeah. You yeah. don't have to go from back there. From your inverter to here. And from here to wherever you're, we've got to still figure out the whole transfer switch thing. I guess it would, might even be possible that it's back there underneath the cab, cabinet, but I doubt it. Back here? It, yeah. If I shoot a message on that Facebook group the other day, we got like 20 answers immediately on flushing our tank. Oh, and yeah. Figure it yeah, out. Ask if anybody knows where the automatic transfer switch is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good... All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. That makes it easy. Cool. I'll, I'll just verify and then I'll shoot you a yeah. text. We'll just have to figure out the DC side, which isn't that big a deal, and get all your stuff mounted. That's the that's the hard part, or the that's the time-consuming part is mounting everything. Yeah. So keep me posted. All right. And once you get to that step, then we'll come back and start pulling some wire, and okay, and uh, we'll figure out how much wire we're going to need. Number six. Okay. So let me show you here what uh, what I got going so far. Uh, because this is a 50 amp coach and it has two legs to that 50 amp service uh, I'm installing two uh, 3000 watt multi plus uh, charger inverters so uh, one for each leg of the 50 amp service I've also mounted my Lynx distributor that basically you plug into that that's where all your fuses and everything go and then you branch off of that what I'm what I've done so far is I've wired up all the battery everything to the Lynx distributor. I have to still have to go from there to my batteries, and then I've also ran uh, my inputs uh, for my 110 service into the right here into the multi pluses. Tomorrow, Jones in the travel. Aaron Jones is going to be helping me finish this because we have to run some wires over to where my transfer switch is which is in an odd place it's underneath the refrigerator behind the pa electrical panel so we got to pull the electrical panels to access the uh, transfer switch and then we also have a servo gx that's basically basically to monitor uh how your system is doing and how it's reacting to everything so you can have a closer idea of what's happening with your batteries and all that sort of stuff so that's what we got going so far. This is the big upgrade from the Xantrex and those old golf cart batteries. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got coming in. Switch, switch. Good, good. The battery there. That'll heat these up. Okay. Now we also have to get your coach battery cables in here somehow to eliminate those front batteries. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. We have this off one of your inverters, this off the other inverter. The new ones okay and then this wire going to your old inverter and coming back we'll just eliminate and leave it back there 
let me pull these two out so we can get to that transfer switch because we need to run from there down to your new inverters and then back That's to right. here. Right. We might get lucky and be able That's to, I don't know, use some of that wire maybe. All right, so let's go back down, I guess, and pull that belly, that ceiling down. See if we can figure out how we're going to get from here to there. Okay. And we can just pull, we can just take the wire you bought, fold it in half, pull both sides of it, you know, label one, you know, mark them with tape. Right. Yeah. And just do all the hookups here, do all the hookups down there, and this part's done. And they got it sealed up pretty good back here, but. Come on. Next. <laughs> Yeah, here's a gas line, so I'm hoping this will take us directly up. We just have to figure out how to get this down. There's only four million screws, so we'll be okay. It's sealed up pretty tight back here in the back, so we're not going to be able to take it down all the way anyway. But Steel. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Nice. Looks like somebody was living in there. So there's the floor. This must be under the sink. See, I was hoping. Whew. Gross. Now, anything you find, you get to take with you. Do they look fresh? No, I think they're old. Yeah. Looks like a chihuahua. It looked like a chihuahua crapped under your cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Right here, there's a hole. Right there. Yeah. Glad I wasn't laying down there when that happened. And right now, what we're doing is we're uh, connecting into the transfer switch with the new line. Yeah, that should work right there. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, now, now we need to feed that one back that way and see how far we can get with it. So if you want to go outside, I'll feed this to you. This should be plenty to get us to a junction box, Jamie. can go back in because it's done. Is there droppings in there too? Uh, no, it's clean in here. Okay. I think they just got between that stuff and the floor because yeah. the, yeah. Yeah, so the inside electrical part is done. We just have to hook the, these wires up to the um, inverters, and then we gotta get the 12 volt to the inverters, and then your house will be all inverted again. All new. This one's feeding the first side of your breaker panel that we wired in the house.
back here to your links. That's the next step. We're probably going to run it back and run it up through the floor. Probably the easiest way. Okay. Programming's done. Is to a Xantrix Pathfinder, which is this one. We're going to make that hot. And then there's another one over there we're going to make hot. And we're going to tie all those together over here. And we're going to run a, a positive and a negative back to that bay. Or at least reach into here. Maybe. Black on the same length. This would be more than enough to run up to that. For the, yeah. Okay. So let's run these. Okay. Call it and see how far this wire will go. Should be plenty long enough to get us in the bay right here. You picked a good bay to put all this in too because you're kind of central, you're close, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you're gonna have to run 44 feet of wire to get to the... Okay, we gotta go up and over the airbag. Can I fit? Oh! Turn the engine on and uh, put the air back in is the Is that airbag. the bay right there where that wire is? Right okay. here. Good. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> You're in. I don't know if you're going to get back out. <laughs> I may be screwed. All right, so we got them all hooked up. So basically, we had to run two battery leads from the front of the coach where the factory batteries are back to our links. We've got them all inverted. Everything like that works, but that's what we were tidying up was the 12 volt. So now everything in the house works, all the lights, the water pump, all that. So like brand new. You guys are good to go. Yeah, you know we're how, good to go. You know how which switches and buttons to push? And... Yeah, yeah, I, I know <laughs> Now that. you just need solar so you don't have to run the noise maker. Right. Yeah. 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 And we got room in there where we can put a charge controller and all that. Yeah, and you can put more batteries back in there. Yeah, yeah you got all kinds of space. But yeah. yeah. And we can probably go to do the wires down from yep. here, right? Right behind the fridge. And, yeah. And right across where we put the wires today. Yeah, right. up underneath that rat nest. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be Literally easy. Right It'll be easy now because now we know how to run the wire. <laughs> right. Yeah. So cool. Thank there you. Go. You're I'm so very excited. welcome. Yep. Glad I was able to help you guys get it going. Especially out here in the desert, sometimes it's hard with parts and stuff. But right. you had 99.9% .9 of everything we needed. So. Thanks, Thanks again, bro. Thank you. you I appreciate it. your business. Yep. Hey Roamers, make sure and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Links for all the products we used are in the description below.